A growing number of Sam Houston State University students are voicing their concerns for the far distances of parking lots to the middle of campus. Campus might not seem that large, but when you factor in that most students are carrying heavy backpacks, water bottles, books, and even handbags or purses, the struggle could add up quick. Months into the pandemic, some community members are still unsure how to buy properly fitting masks. Experts suggest that your mask should completely cover your nose and mouth, as well as sit flush to the sides of your face. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice Huntsville Unit serves as both a symbol of freedom and demise. The unit houses both the most active execution chamber in the country, as well as a regional release center for those who are regaining their freedom. Hey Bearcats, this year's Sammy Palooza lineup is official. Featured artists include T-Pain, Cheat Codes, and Bryce Vine. We decided to hit the streets to see how Sam Houston students felt about this announcement. Bars are officially reopened in Walker County and Sam Houston State University students are flocking to them despite the pandemic. This becomes an issue when many of these same students will be headed home for the holidays very soon. For several years now, the city of Huntsville has unsuccessfully tried to encourage a colony of 750,000 bats out of this old prison building and into these fancy new bat houses. Your chance for a good cup of coffee right here in Huntsville just got better as three new local coffee shops have opened just in the past year, giving the big chains a run for their money. A nurse has died after falling from a hoist on a medical helicopter while rescuing a woman from a hiking trail in Austin. Starflight said in a news release that 46-year-old Kristen McLean became detached from the hoist Monday night while retrieving a woman who had fallen in the Barton Greek Greenbelt. McLean died at the scene. The rescued woman was taken to University Medical Center Brackenridge with non-life-threatening injuries. The FAA is investigating the incident. We're at the Walker Education Center where Huntsville community members are gathering to bond over knitting. The event titled A Stitch in Time offers attendees an opportunity to hone their craft alongside friendly interaction. Curator of Education at the Sam Houston Memorial Museum, Derek Birdsall, told us what he hopes the community gains from this event. One of the goals that I have here is to um, you know, bring history to life and to get people as involved in um, 19th century skills and technology as we can in the 21st century. Um, so this is the first, really, of a, a series of workshops I'd like to do um, on hands-on skills from the 19th century. No experience is necessary, and the only supplies needed are a ball of worsted weight cotton yarn, a pair of size 5 to 9 knitting needles, and a pad and pen to take notes. Attendee Joy Matchett told us what she thought the significance of knitting is. When these kids come up to me and I'm doing demonstrations, they're like, oh, a sewing machine or, oh, this is this. I think knitting is just getting back to the basics, teaching them where they really came from. What they're really wearing is a knit product and they have no clue how it was made. Yes, it may have been made on a machine, but it started by hand and it started on a rudimentary tool. If you missed the event, don't worry. Classes are held the fourth Tuesday of every month. Mason Stores, Channel 7 News. We're in the Johnson Coliseum parking lot where the sixth annual Cat Safety Bash is underway. The Cat Safety Bash was created to give the SHSU community an opportunity to meet public safety professionals from SHSU, Huntsville, and Walker County. It is a free event that features a helicopter landing, several demonstrations including vehicle extraction, canine explosive detection, and a burn house. Patrol officer, certified crime prevention specialist, and coordinator of the event, Jeff Butterworth, told us what he hopes the community gains from it. So we hope that you actually get to know the people that might be assisting you in the future. Whether it's the University Police Department, Huntsville Police Department, Walker County Sheriff's Office, or even EMS in the fire. So we understand that in these times of situations that might be a, you know, whether it's something that goes wrong in your life, we want to be there to actually be somebody that you might know and assist you through that situation. The event provides a fun, interactive environment for the SHSU community to learn about public safety. Senior Mass Communication major Casey Lawrence told us about his favorite part of the event. Um, I like the little uh, prop burn because I mean it was a great way to show us how fast a, um, a fire can really spread and it uh, did a really well job of uh, showing us how, um, 
how the firefighters respond and what they do to put out the fire. This Can't Miss event is held annually, so if you couldn't make it to this year's, keep an eye out for information about the bash next fall. Mason Stores, the Houstonian. We're at the second annual Run With Sam 5K, where contestants are competing to raise money for journalism scholarships. The event, held on the campus of Sam Houston State University, is sponsored by several local businesses along with the Texas Press Association. Special Events Director for the Texas Press Association, Sue Brown, told us why event coordinators chose to hold a 5K. It was really the brainchild of, of our executive director, Mike Hodges, and he um, is wanting to get our community newspapers engaged in their towns and their cities. For an entry fee of only $20 and an online registration, runners could compete for awards in several divisions, claim a free t-shirt, and receive complimentary refreshments. Competition was stiff, but not enough to scare away committed runners. Competitor Greg Oberg told us what kind of training goes into running a 5K. So what I personally do is I run about three times a week, and then I'll walk another uh, once or twice, usually walking the dogs with the wife, and then I have a treadmill. Half of the battle is the soundtrack. You've got to have a great soundtrack to keep you motivated, keep your mind off of how far you've been. Oberg went on to tell us what he liked about this event. Just love being here. I love the fact that it's great weather today. A perfect day for a run, nice and cool, before it gets really, really hot with Texas weather. Healthy competition, supporting young journalists, and celebrating the legacy of Sam Houston combined for a successful event. Mason Stores, Channel 7 News.